10 Facts, Natural Warning Signs of a Tsunami As you know, there will never be a time for us to wait for the official tsunami warning. Tsunamis start in the deep sea and can be hard to detect. Because if it all makes sense, a natural tsunami warning will be your only warning. With that, you should learn the natural signs and indications that there will likely be a tsunami. With that, here are natural warning signs of a tsunami any one of us should be prepared of. Number 1. Strong and long earthquakes near or below ocean floor Natural tsunami warnings come with long or strong earthquakes. It's like a train or airplane coming from the ocean. You will notice unusual ocean behavior. It could happen through movements along fault zones associated with the plate's boundaries. Also, the plate boundary is the region where two plates come in contact. It's also the way wherein one plate moves to another. Also, most strong earthquakes happen in subduction zones where the ocean plate slides under the continental plate or any younger ocean plate. Number 2. Unusual Fluctuations of Sea Level Another natural warning sign of a tsunami is the noticeable rapid rise or fall in the coastal waters. So if you see that the water recedes promptly, which unexpectedly exposes the ocean floor, or there is a sudden rise of sea level, then there may be a tsunami approaching. The ocean would look like a fast rising flood or wall of water. It drains away immediately, which could almost show the ocean floor. Even the fish and reefs are very low, mostly low tide. Therefore, a tsunami would likely come if you experienced any of these natural warnings. With that, you must immediately evacuate to higher inland or ground and avoid the river valleys. Number 3. Huge and Abnormal Waves Remember that tsunamis are a series of waves. However, the first wave may not be the most dangerous. It's not the largest. That's why if you see the first one, expect bigger ones to come. You have to be aware that a tsunami's danger could last several hours after the first wave. It surges about 5 minutes to an hour apart, and the cycle could be marked by the repeated retreat and even advance of the ocean. Once the wave reaches the shore, know that it builds height. You must avoid danger and run immediately to higher grounds or even inland. You also have to avoid river valleys. Number 4. Ocean Roars Are Loud When you hear roaring sounds offshore, like a jet aircraft or a train, know that there would likely be a tsunami approaching. Any abnormal or unusual ocean activity indicates that you must leave the place. Don't wait for official evacuation announcements when you hear something unusual and weird. What you can do is best leave low-lying areas and move to higher ground. Number 5. Landslide If a major landslide or earthquake happens close to the shore, know that tsunamis are fast approaching. Tsunamis can happen when a landslide displaces the water from above or below. Tsunami generation varies on the amount of landslide material that displaces water, the speed it moves, and the depth at which it moves. It's also called tectonic tsunamis, which can be major threats to coastal communities. Know that landslide-generated tsunamis are more dangerous to the communities that are near they occur. Number 6. Volcanic Activities even if it's not frequent, violent volcanic eruptions are also considered natural warning signs of a tsunami. It represents impulsive disturbances that could displace a great volume of water and produce extremely destructive waves in a source area. Waves could be generated by sudden water displacement caused by a volcanic explosion, volcano slope failure, or phreatomagmatic explosion. It could be due to the engulfment of volcanic magmatic chambers. When you look at the risk of tsunamis in the community, you have to consider the different sources in the region or area that may generate the tsunami. And with that, volcanoes are among the sources that produce tsunamis and produce the largest earthquakes. Number 7. Certain Types of Weather If you think that the change in the weather is just normal, think again. Air pressure disturbances are usually associated with fast-moving weather systems as squall lines can end with tsunamis. They are called meteo tsunamis or meteorological tsunamis, also like tsunamis caused by earthquakes. These are caused by weather events like tornadoes, squalls, 
frontal systems, thunderstorms, or anything that could cause a sudden change in atmospheric pressure. Number 8. Extraterrestrial Collision The impacts of meteorites don't usually cause tsunamis, but the impacts of the asteroid just might. In general, it's an extremely rare occurrence. Scientists even realize that a large volume of water would likely cause a tsunami if the celestial bodies strike the ocean. It could potentially create larger waves, but not a tsunami. However, asteroids with larger diameters could impact the ocean at a very high speed, and land would potentially create some large waves, but not a tsunami. However, a large asteroid could impact the ocean at a very high speed, impart huge amounts of energy, and displace large quantities of water. Because of that, waves caused by this impact can travel thousands of miles before it would become a tsunami as it reaches shallow water. Number 9. Coastal Rockfalls Coastal rockfalls also fall into landslides, but these landslides displace even larger amounts of water and generate great tsunamis. Tsunamis could also be generated by the impact of rapidly moving landslides, such as coastal rockfalls. Number 10. Submarine Landslides Lastly, another natural warning sign of a tsunami is a submarine landslide. It may occur along many continental margins and on gentle slopes of as low as 1 degree. The submarine landslide hazard actually controls the tsunami threat, but then, Landslide tsunamis are not accounted for in most hazard assessments of tsunamis. It's mainly because of the big uncertainties involved with the scientific understanding of submarine landslides. Wrapping up, we all want survival in any disaster event just like a tsunami. With that, we should always prepare for it and learn each sign of tsunamis. You must also practice community evacuation plans, especially if you are living in high-risk communities. Because whether we like it or not, most people don't survive being swept in when a tsunami strikes. However, there are ways to protect ourselves and our exact strategy depends on where we are at. In the end, it will go a lot more smoothly if you plan in advance. After knowing all these natural signs of tsunami, does it make you feel more prepared when it hits? Well, we can tell it yet for now. What we can do is always be alert. Don't let things happen before it's too late. Evacuate when needed, as it's the best way any of us can survive a tsunami. So that's all for today's video. I hope you learned a lot from this topic, as this really happens in real life. You know it's surreal, so let's not take it for granted. May this video serve as an eye-opener to us that it could happen. More than that, we are glad to announce that we run a few charity campaigns and our goal is to help those in need, like the ones hit by natural disasters. You may check out the link in the descriptions and view our campaigns. And if you find this video helpful, just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to let us know if you want to discuss interesting topics in the future. Write in the comments section below so we can have it on our list to cover. Yeah.